welcome to Whips in the Dungeon 301.15. Um, a, a few weeks ago we did a, a uh, unboxing and review of uh, a little four foot bullwhip made by Peter Thorndike, who is a uh, very good Australian platter. Uh, he's won a lot of platting awards, uh, whip throwing contests, and is what I would call probably the equivalent to a modern day Mike Murphy. Um, and Peter is a very good whip maker. He made me this whip. I did an unboxing and a reveal uh, and a review. His waiting list is about a year long and I've had a couple of times, a couple of chances to throw it in the dungeon. My initial impressions were that it was, it's, it's a very well made whip using all the criteria I use for a bull whip. It's, it's smooth as a baby's butt down to the keeper. I feel no transitions. Uh, the rollout with the belly is extremely good. The arc against the spine is straight, so it should target well both ways. Uh, using my 180 degree roll around test, it, it tests actually better than my Murphy. So my initial impression the first time I threw it was that it really throws uh, very close to uh, the way a Murphy would throw. Uh, I've thrown it twice in the dungeon. I actually did a specialty scene with it where I put clothes pins on Moodstone's chest and I was able to accurately flick the clothes pins off of her chest. So uh, it passes all my tests for a great dungeon whip. And I wanted just to do a little follow up and tell you how accurate it was and how much I am enjoying throwing this whip. So if, if you don't mind waiting a year, uh, because that's what his wait list is right now, and paying a little bit more uh, than what I'm used to paying for a bullwhip, uh, it's certainly a wonderful whip. And out of all the whip makers that I've thrown, and I've, I've owned over 70 single tails, if you're looking for something that's like a Mike Murphy whip, uh, this is the closest that I've found uh, in all the whip makers I've worked with to, that would be able to actually make a whip that's comparable to a Mike Murphy unloaded uh, bull whip. Peter's whip uh, has great rollout, great flow. It's very accurate. It's not overly heavy. So for a dungeon whip, I'm gonna be able to throw it for a long play song for several songs without wearing my my arm out. Uh, so that's it for the Peter Thorndike Bullwhip Review.